Hey church family, thanks for allowing me to join you today. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be in Matthew chapter 5, so I'll open up. This is from the Sermon on the Mount, and these are the words of Jesus. He said, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. I don't know about you guys, but my neighborhood has been buzzing with activity. People that I've never even seen before have been out walking, running, having conversations and fellowshipping. And I think one of the side effects of this whole coronavirus quarantine thing is that people are longing for a human touch. And people are longing just to have a conversation with somebody even. And uh, I think that is such a great opportunity for us as believers to witness about Christ and about our faith and what we believe. This scripture says, you're the salt of the earth. Salt in this day was primarily a preservative. So we're to preserve as believers the good and the righteous things in this world. And we're to oppose those things that are not good and not righteous. But even, even past that verse, um, you are the light of the world. So we're the light of Christ to a world in darkness. And there are a lot of people really struggling with fear and anxiety. And they're in a dark place spiritually and emotionally right now. But we have the hope of Jesus. We are the light of the world. And we're not to hide that light under a basket. When we have our conversations with, with people we know um, need encouragement and need the Lord specifically, we're to let that light shine and speak openly about Christ. Tell people you're praying for them. Tell people about who Jesus is to you because He's the one, He's the only one who can provide true hope and peace in this terribly trying time for so many people. We are the light of the world, and that light cannot be hidden under a basket. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. That's what we are as the church. We're a city on the hill, and we're, we're a beacon of Christ's light in a dark world. So be that as an individual, as a family. Be that in your neighborhood. As people are longing for that human touch, for some fellowship, for even just a conversation, speak freely and speak openly about who Jesus is. And as the word promises, it will not go out void. Thank you guys so much. I hope this was an encouragement to you. God bless.